For the following exercises, write the equation of the line shown in the graph. All right. So what we want to do here is we always want to remember these two facts. Whenever you have a vertical line, vertical line, perfectly vertical line, the equation of that vertical line will be x is equal to some constant number. Okay. If it were horizontal, then y would equal some constant number. Definitely memorize that. I know it sounds counterintuitive, right? You would think vertical would be y is equal to and horizontal would be x, but you know, it's math, so it's not what you expect it to be. I'm kidding. It, it actually does make sense if you if you really do consider it. For example, um, what does it mean for a line to have a constant x? Well, that would mean that, here, take a look. What is the x coordinate of that point? Well, negative 3, right? It would be negative 3 comma 0 because it doesn't have a y value. How about this point? Well, that would also have an x coordinate of negative 3. How about that point? Well, that would also have an x coordinate of negative 3, right? It'd have a y coordinate of 2. But what's important here is knowing that the y coordinate really doesn't control this particular graph or this particular line, I should say. It control what's controlling that line is simply the x value, meaning the x is being held constant at what value? Negative 3. And <laughs> literally that's it. Look, there it is. All we got to do, okay? Same thing here uh, when we look at the second one. It's a vertical line, so we know x is going to equal some constant number. What is that constant number? Look at your axis, and there it is, 2. Bada bing, bada boom, there you go. All right, voila. Guys, thank you very much for tuning in. Please remember to subscribe and hit that like button, and we look forward to helping you with more problems. I'll see you soon. Take care.